All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to another video on the Astro Vagabond channel. So I just got done making a decision of where I'm going to image from uh, come January New Moon, and with that settled, now I'm going to focus on uh, my equipment and for my Edge HD8, I am going to upgrade the version of Nina that I'm using. And if you've not done this before, I just thought I will share with you in this video my approach uh, to doing an upgrade. And I do the upgrade in such a way uh, that I protect my ability to roll back. It's a very simple uh, task uh, to make sure that you can roll back. And um, why I'm interested in uh, Beta 3.0, uh, let's see here. So on their release page, you can find information. So I'm going to move to version 3.0 Beta. Uh, they say here, uh, Beta builds are preview builds that contain the full development effort for the next release. So they're beta, basically beta testing for the next release. These builds contain the full set of features for the next version and are under evaluation to find and fix potential bugs. No major changes will occur in these builds and the focus is on bug fixing only. Uh, major changes may occur if a critical issue is identified and a major change is necessary to fix it. Thus, these builds should be already uh, quite stable to use. And then it says, to be able to roll back to a previous released version without losing the profiles, back up the profiles which are located at um, the file path uh, indicated in the document. And uh, before we do that, um, i tell you there's a couple things that I'm interested in this version for, uh, or this version. Uh, I see a couple things here related to the Prima Loose Primalucci Lab Eagle, which is uh, what I'm running with my Edge HD. Uh, so I, I make special note of that. And then there's some things around the uh, Flat Wizard uh, that look interesting to me. But I also run a plugin, uh, or I want to run a plugin called Target Scheduler. And it's essentially where you can set up a bunch of projects and uh, there's a special container that you can bring into your advanced sequence and this uh, target scheduler will automatically run the imaging based upon your list of projects along with a few uh, weights or switches that you can set on how the target scheduler should make its decisions on which uh, target to run. So that's something I want to do this year. I want to be able to go have my target list all pre-identify, load it up, and then when I get out to a site, being a traveler, and I'm going to be there for four or five nights, hopefully, then I can just set everything up, get my polar alignment done, and then just uh, kick in the target scheduler and let it manage uh, the imaging over the next few nights for me. So I'm very uh, curious about that and I want to give that a try. So, all right, let's, so let's jump into uh, the actual, what we need to do. So we'll bring up uh, my Eagle 5. Here we are. And um, we'll just take a quick look in Nina. And here are the plugins uh, that I have loaded. And uh, Tom Palmer has created this target scheduler. It uh, looks very interesting to me, and it's something that I want to uh, experiment with and see if I can use it on a multi-night scenario. And uh, he also wrote uh, target planning as well. So, but let's get into what we need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, my file explorer, and I'm going to go to um, percent and 
let's see if I did that right. So I got uh, percent local app data, percent forward slash, or I guess that's a backslash Nina. So it will take you to your directly directory where your profiles are located. Here are the profiles. I already uh, created a profiles underscore old and everything that's in my profiles uh, folder is now in this folder as well. So that is how I'll be able to uh, roll back if need be. And actually I am going to copy this last minute thought. Uh, so let's copy it and let's just put it on the desktop. And now I also have it on my desktop. All right, so that's that. Close that, we'll bring Nina back up. Now you see in Nina here, normally uh, if there's an upgrade available based upon how you have the option set, I'm running on release, um, there'll be a notification up here that you have an opportunity to uh, upgrade. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into imaging, um, check that, um, advanced settings here, and you will see that the auto update source that I'm using right now is release. So I'm going to set that to beta. And now you see I've got a pop-up notification up in this corner. I don't know how it shows, but it says new update is available. 3.0 beta 003. Do I want to uh, update now? And I'm going to go yes. Uh, should be a quick download. Really quick. So this is not the nightlies. Uh, I ran nightlies for a while on Nina, and while I don't think I really had any major problems with the nightlies, I decided to move back to the release, and uh, that's where I've been living the last few months. Uh, but I know they're going to roll to this release 3.0 at some point. I'd like to start to get familiar with it. I'd like to run the target scheduler. I also think that the um, sky quality... Uh, capability in my Eagle 5 can come into play here in this new version. So there's just some things that I'm interested in. We'll uh, load my profile. And um, I already did this on my test box. I have uh, the workstation uh, that I'm running a uh, remote desktop connection on to my Eagle 5 actually has Nina running and that's kind of my test bed where I test things so I would know that I were gonna get these errors so I'm not uh, I'm not freaked out or anything and basically what they're telling me is uh, I need to upgrade the plugins and uh, there was information available that maybe not all the plugin writers have uh, necessarily uh, updated their um, their plugins to run with this new version but it's uh, very straightforward to do you just go into the plugins and I don't know like uh, Hocus Focus um, you know is one we'll upgrade so we'll go into the available and we'll go into Hocus Focus and we'll hit update and then of course it requires a restart And again, uh, I've got a few more uh, plugins that I got to update. So I just thought I'd take a few moments. I'm going to focus a little bit more in 2024 on Nina, how I'm using it, maybe some things that might be of interest to you on, uh, on Nina in particular. If you're new to Nina or you're considering Nina, uh, maybe I'll have some information available that you might find interesting. So you might want to hit that notification bell. And uh, as always, 
If you find something useful in any of my videos and you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, you'll find a link in our my video descriptions where you can uh, buy me a cup of coffee or uh, hit my PayPal link with a small donation to help support the channel. Uh, no pressure, totally up to you. Uh, other than that, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And your comments are really helpful to me, so if there's something specifically you'd like me to share with you or whatever based upon uh, Nina or my Edge HD8 or my Red Cat 51, uh, drop a comment with your request and I'll see what I can do to provide you that information. All right, with the January new moon coming up, I hope you're looking at some good weather. Uh, Frank, my friend in Belgium, uh, I'm sorry to hear about your travails with the weather. I hope, I'm hoping along with you that the things improve uh, considerably and it really tempers my uh, desire to whine because I know here in California while we're dealing with a little bit of a El Nino effect probably in January and February um, I'm not in Europe and I'm not facing the type of weather that you typically have to deal with there so uh, Frank uh, uh, hang in there and I hope you nothing uh, but clear skies alright other than that everyone thanks for dropping in the channel see you next time